Alright guys, today's job is to cut this uh, pivot edge, no, trim this pivot edge. It's got a few foreign things in there, but this is our own edge and it's well, uh, well trained. Got good shape to it. It's just got a new leaf now. So I thought I'd do a bit of a how-to video as well. I'll go through the process of I do it. A lot of people have different ways of doing it, but someone who who's starting off or don't really know how to do it, I think this video will help a lot. So we get on it now. Um, I leave a sharp edge. Sometimes I round different edges off. I used to round this corner off, but now I leave it um, sharp. So I'll show you how much I got to do. All up here. You say it's got a few foreign things in there. Excuse that, but there we had a chair against there, a bench. The dog used to push it in and stand on it. Uh, that's why it's like that's when I leave that come back. These are my weapons for the day. That's Lana 122 HD60. Absolutely fantastic. Everyone was on about the still 45. I'd say that's the competition. In my opinion, this is miles better because you've got a rotating back handle. The, the lower versions of the stills haven't. So, all day long. we get another one of them. And my um, KM94 RC. With the, yeah, some attachment on it. So I do all this up here, look how deep that is today. That's what I need the long reach for, put over there. I'm gonna get an extension for it as well. But I can't understand, it makes me, it makes me laugh it does when people use extent, long reach edge trimmers then they don't need to win in front of them like this. Well, if you're doing where you can reach a normal edge trimmer, just use a normal one. Only use the long reach for the, the long reach areas. Cause you're holding, you're holding more weight and you haven't got so much of a cut on the, the bar length. So it's puzzling me why, why I see people, so many people on YouTube doing that. Just makes me laugh. Anyway, round here, up here, some strange like tree leaves in there. Just a bit of rougher stuff here. Some wild edge here. Just knock the top off. I will do the outside. We'll do that in the next few days. Right. Yes, yeah, so this is the way I do it. As much as you can, work upwards. Keep it flat as you can. Try what I also do as well is try not to get the tip of the bar to dig in. So you can have a gouge. Because sometimes a slight angle tip in the bar, the front of the bar, slightly out to the edge. Show sure what I mean now. You'll see as I'm going. I won't go to the top yet, just to the front. Take big swipes, just small swipes. Get close like that now. Yeah, so I'm going to be the full length of the bar. Try not to dig the end in. the front edge yet. I'm just coming up square. Just keep coming through square. Alright. Try not to take too much off. But if you look down here, that's pretty straight already. I do go back over there 
like I said, you've got to watch your digging, especially with the end of the, the bar. Just see that bit out here, bit out there, let's come back to get them bits. We'll go in this corner, I'll show you go in the corner. Like I said, I've been doing this edge a long, long time. So it's pretty much trained to where I want it. It take a long time to get edges, right? But once you get the shape, like I said, just taking small amounts of leaf off then. That's where the beauty of this one. With a rotating back handle, swap sides then. Obviously, don't take too much off, so you can't put it back on. You can always go back over there and take more off, like, look for the bits that's uh, coming out then. Let's work our way up now. You can see the line of it is coming nice already. That's only a few minutes. Don't need many revs at all. I see people screaming stuff. There's no need to. Just like half revs were cut. Perfect. Starting to look a lot smoother, nice. There's a bit of a belly by you. You can't really take that back because I'd be on the belt. That's just it does move the time. Let me show you this bit by you. This is the awkward bit by you. I got a curve in there. In by you, I got a natural curve. Well, you can't go this way. You set up my camera. what I find. So this is the way I do it. People might have different ways. If you try to go that way, you're going to dig in. There's no way of really doing that without having a line dug into it to give you a nice natural curve there. So I run it this way. When I'm going to cross you, sometimes I run underneath and run the top once there. So that's what we'll do now. Watch this now. That's how I get an inside curve. You'd be surprised how awkward that is without having to dig in. If you cut it this way, you're going to have a line at the end of the teeth. Cut 
mountain and you see that now. See? That's how you always get a curve there. Outward curve don't matter. This is not going to dig in. Always got to watch the front of the bar. That's what's digging in. You can buy fancy stuff by putting on the, the blades. But I've never bought anything fancy and I've never had blades go really blunt on me. They always last for years when I have them. Only because I got it. That's why I use it. Red diesel. So often, give it a spray. Keep it nice and wet. You see some people using them and they actually go in blue with it. They're so dry and get hot. Right, that's the first pass on the front. I always do the bottom edge. Bit of a trick here, yeah, a bit of a tip. I always do the bottom edge. It's just important as your top edge, in my opinion. So I level him off through there, neatens it up. You've got to get the bottom right as well. Every job I do, I do a few edges a year. I always get the bottom as good as I can. I do it in sections. Do the top now. I finish the top to you, and then we work up there then. But I finish this level in one go first. He's on jumping up and down there. And I'll show you my main trick now for getting the top as level as I can. Oh, this is done an upward motion. Very rarely you go down, it's always up. I gotta go in the corner, but you yeah. I'll do that in a minute. On the top now, right? This is how I get it level. I'll show you the way I do it now. It's worked uh, good for me. No uh, videos on edges, edge stuff. That's a bit of speciality really, but it's though it's eye edges. Done them for many years. So anyway, there's a few ways of doing the top. You can either start cutting and hold it as level as you can and just come with it all the way along. I sometimes done that to get your first edge. But this is the way I do it. What I want to do, I try to keep the bar, the first one, I try to keep the bar, the blades, so that I'm facing along the edge. So if you're going this way, cutting like this, you're going to go like that. It's going to be all over the place. But if you're cutting on a, a motion that way, the levelness of the bar, you want to go in line where you're going. You can, you can lose a waviness that way, but not this way. So easy. We've got the corner left. Yeah, this corner, we do the corners last. The edges. So I'm trying to keep it flat. Same again, watch your nose at the end of the blades, don't dig in. In the future I might get like a single sided 30, 30 inch. The edge is, how strong it is, it's holding the edge cutter like over there. But I uh, think the lighter the edge cutter, the better. So I did have a, um, a still HS81 with a 30 inch bar, it was just too heavy, so I got rid of it. As far as I'm concerned, the lighter the edge, some of the better. It's using it a long time, especially on big jobs. So lighter the lighter, the better for stuff. Yeah. 
next pass. He's a little big. I still need that I do with a long reach. From where I can't reach with this, obviously. If I can use, if I can reach it with the hand run, that's why I cut first. With the hand run. It makes more sense. It's lighter, and you get more cut with it. 24 inch or 28 inch. The other one against 22 inch. Or even smaller on long reach uh Yeah, as you can see, pretty flat, eh? pretty straight. Pull these bits off now, you said. Cut them nice they are, the blades. You said, don't worry about the front, this edge. Pick that up last then. It's just your initial cut of the top. You said, you can use a little light rake, rake it off, but sometimes you pull more back up than you need to. It's a nice blower with a blower as well. Let's see if I got this front edge yet. Don't worry about that. Leave that. But that's quite flat. Go flat and get that top. Oh, straight. Go that way. Right? So that's what you're looking for. I hold the bar in that motion. So otherwise you get this effect. Well, that's reducing that then. Right? So I just want to show people I'll try to get the edge nice and level, well a pivot as well really, this one. Ignore the, the, the foreign stuff in there. It is a pivot. And that's what it looks like now when he's fully cut. Yeah, let's see. That's a lot better doing it that way. Yeah, so this is how you're going to get one level. By holding it like that, swiping at it, keeping the bar, in my opinion, that way. Makes sense, doesn't it? Because the bar can't really rock. With this way, you could be like this. And that's after years and years of doing this, and this is uh, what it come to, works the best. So I see a lot of people do edges on YouTube, and some of them are quite shocking, to be honest. And uh, makes me laugh. Like I said, got a natural curve to it. I can't really change that without taking too much. But when it's all done, it's nice, nice and crisp. This front edge, real sharp. Uh, it looks like I've done it with the scissors. Go that way. Not you want. I've got a few people say to me, "Why do you cut that with the scissors?" I'm happy with that. It was a fantastic edge. Some of that is. Really, really good. Can't praise you enough. There's a lot of, lot of jobs for me. Um, and you can cut it the other way. I'll show you now. Just walk along there. You've got to keep it really level as you walk in. For you just keep it level just keep going like that like I said I mix the two that way and the swipes that way
that's why I started doing these YouTube videos. I want to show what I can do because I just think I see a lot of people doing it on there and they're doing it the wrong way. Quite shocking, to be honest, though. So, um, just thought I'd show what I can do. If it helps people, that's great. I could just leave it go in time, but I just fall away. Um, yeah, so don't lean too much because I don't need to. So I'll just get the other edge now. You can see over there that's where the long reach comes in. Only for when I can't get to something, I'll use that. I wouldn't use the long reach for doing the, the full job. There's so many people doing that on YouTube, it just puzzles me what the hell are they doing. Just get a normal edge to my. Use that first, and most, most of them have, but they just use the, the long reach for all of it. Why, like, why would you do that? Because that's just heavier and not precise, in my opinion. I'm happy enough with that now. Pretty good, eh? So, we'll use the long reach now. Just reach the back edge of it. I round the back edge off. So, two different edges. Inside sharp, last side rounded. It's different, like a rougher finish on the other side. And now we'll just level out the parts I can't reach. That's looking better already, and I can see it going low. as well just go one way if you start going back and forth you just end up pulling them all back up and just done it's not just just not the same just cut one way i got to do a different procedure by you now i got to fold the end over and i just knock the edge out of it let me show you what i do i put a downward drop on it only a bit like that and i chamfer the edge from this side over that side that makes sense then. And then straighten them back out then. In the long reach, I try to get my hand as far forward as you can to stop the wobble. Then, best on the edge, you've got to slide to the edge, use your arm on the edge. So I feel my arms hurt not ready. Bloody everything it says. Still got a lighter one now, I might not get that in the future. Lighter end. Very many webs at all. I've got something that's stubborn that won't uh, that won't cut. I'm gonna dig it in a bit. I'll turn it the other way. Slow and steady. Go 
go, you know, people go too fast, they rush here. You can't rush here. Flattening it out, right, first, then I'm shooting it over a bit of a bevel in, like a 50 pence corner. That's what edge I've got then. Like I said, I get all these bits off, I get a little light rake out now. I pull them off and I blow them off as well. You see, it's coming pretty good now, isn't it? Like I said, it's got a few natural dips to it, but just on about levelness of the cut, that's what you want. You don't want gouges in there, just looks professional. Well, I'm pretty happy with that, it's getting there now. Get a little rake now, rake him off a bit and have a look at it. More sobbly, I'll go over it again. Anything you can see then, sticking out, just catch it again. But we'll do, we've got the bottom edge to do, top edge, give it a rake off, see what uh, sticks up. Go from there. Yeah, so we've got a light rake by now. So just give the top a light rake. We could give it a blow off. too much like and just stand back and just look at it anything that's quite high that you can just pull down obviously can't pull too much down because I don't want to break through but um, natural curve over the top there I'll leave that there. Well, it's looking a lot better. I'm going to give the top one quick swipe now, off camera. Second cut. And uh, come back now. Second cut now. So it's looking pretty sharp. Um, just blow it off now with the blower. And we'll do the front edge. It's not looking bad now, but the bottom edge is still a bit... wants to be tidied up. So, like I said, Bottom gonna be tidied, just the same as the top. <laughs> front edge, but um, I'll show the way I do it now. Anything you can see pop back up, I'll have to go back over and knock him down. I just want to show the front edge. Now.
at a 45 degree angle. Yeah. as well. work it out and play with it a bit but I'm happy enough with that that's pretty sharp there that's what you want do some more there now you see a bit of a wavy in that spare a bit wavy put it down a bit There's all different ways of doing the edge, whatever works with you really, but just keep practicing. Neither go all the way up, like this, you've got more chance of going like that then, so try to keep it to a, a bit of an angle. show you a swipe mark, I just saw one, can I see it by? Let's see that by. Oh, up there. Gotta be careful, with the tip of the, the bar, the blades, dig in. We'll have marks, so that's why I try to keep the, the front of the bar out. Especially on the top as well. Longer the bar on the top, like some people go like 30 odd inch, single side. Um, was it 40? But they're too big because the, the tip, the tip, the dig in then. What else we've got to watch? Again, eh? See that edge? Pick it up on camera. That's pretty sharp, that is. Pretty sweet. What else do you want? A definite nice sharp edge like that. Even though it's wavy, just get the edge just nice and sharp and it all just match in. And cover with and go with it. Right, guys, I'm happy enough with that. That's level enough. Looking down here, look at that front edge. I'm happy with that. As you want. Quite crisp. And down there. Like I said, keep going over there as much as you like. You'll be hand if you really want to get every little leaf in order. But it's an instant line. I think you'll agree. That's sharp, pretty crisp. Only thing we're going to do now is the bottom. It's still not finished. Just try a little bit of a straighten up on the bottom. And that's as good as I'm going to get out of then. 
Take him in it. Take him at the bottom now. Well then guys, that's that bit, just tidied up the bottom a bit like, don't know you can see it better because there's more edge there to get a better bottom on it, but yeah it's all just like, uh, there's nothing much there, can't do much, much much on the bottom there, but down there I try to chamfer it, I always chamfer a line across the bottom on any jobs I do, with a full edge all the way to the floor, see over there, see what I mean, give it a chamfer, bottom edge, chamfer him to the floor. What's all right? I'm happy with that. Looking a lot better. Right guys, is the video done? Quick how to video. That's just like a bit wild there, eh? but that's just trimmed back, so I'm happy with that. The sycamore, it's a sycamore in there and down there. Well that was just a video on how to get it level. How to get your edge level. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm happy with that. And when I mean level, I mean no gouges, no umps like a camera's back. I'm just trying to get a professional finish. I think that's a good tip there. There'll be lots more videos in the future on uh, edges, different jobs I do, and I go do the outside as well, and that edge down there, all the way down to the bridge. So that's a rougher finish, but we'll do that as well. All right, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.